Welcome to Red Eye Central. Hi, diggity dog, breaking it down at all hours of the day and night, trying to get that system clean and nice, just right. First up, we're going to take a look at HCI Mem Test. <clears throat> To ensure that our RAM is running error free, this program can be downloaded from hcidesign.com and we'll link that in the video description below. And there are three versions of this test. Free! Pro. Deluxe. With each premium version having additional expanded features. So once we download the test, it's going to download in a zip folder. We're going to right click that zip folder, go down to properties, and then we're going to go down to the unblock this file option. Hit apply and OK, and that way we don't have any issues with Windows. And then we're going to go back and extract all the contents of the zip folder. And then once we extracted all the contents of the zip folder, we're going to open memtest.exe. Now, the first time we open memtest.exe, we may receive a Windows warning that states, Windows protected your PC. Windows Defender Smart Screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting. Running this app might put your PC at risk. <gasps> And then it has a button on the lower right that says don't run. In this case, we're going to click that link in the top left that says more info. And that's going to show us more information about this program. And then it will reveal a second button that says run anyway. And we're going <coughs> to click run anyway. And then we'll get the welcome new Memtest user dialog box. And it states read the manual to get the most use out of this program. If, but if you don't have time for that, do these three things. One, quit every program running on your computer. So it doesn't want to have any background programs running while it's testing. But we're not going to do that for this demonstration because we're going to be utilizing some visual aids on the screen. So we're going to leave some stuff running. But if you were testing this at home, you would want to place all Windows background applications in their closed upright position as we prepare for takeoff. Two. Click OK to close this window and then start testing. Three, let MemTest run to 100% or overnight to catch intermittent errors. If MemTest finds any problems, it will stop and let you know. Hey, you man! The longer you run MemTest, the better the test. If you have multiple cores or CPUs, run multiple copies of MemTest and split the amount of RAM tested between them. This dialog can be turned off in the Pro version. We'll click OK and then we'll receive the test box. Now the test box defaults to all unused RAM. We're going to try that. We're going to click start testing. And you can see we receive another dialog box from HCI MemTest and it states could not allocate 4,095 megabytes. Windows limits the amount of contiguous RAM MemTest can allocate to between 2 and 3.5 gigabytes. To test all of your RAM, run more than one copy of MemTest simultaneously and set each copy to test a portion of available RAM. Running more than one copy of MemTest does not lower the quality of the test and can even improve it if you have multiple cores or CPUs. No. This process is automated in MemTest Pro. So if you do this test a lot, maybe you build systems or work in an IT department, or you just have many systems that you're continuously diagnosing. My gosh, I'm diagnosing here, man. Straight up diagnosing, yo. Then it may be worth it to buy the Pro or Deluxe version, and that way a lot of this is automated. But for now, we're just utilizing the free. Version. So we're going to click OK, and then we'll need to change the amount of RAM that we're testing because we can't test it all in a single test. So we're going to need to run several tests simultaneously, simultaneously so we can get complete coverage of all the physical RAM installed in the system. So we're going to start with 1,000 megabytes, which will test one gigabyte of installed RAM. And then we'll click Start Testing, and then we'll receive this dialog <laughs> box from HCI MemTest that states... Your computer's RAM will now be tested. If any problems are found, you will be notified. You can stop the test whenever you wish, but the longer you run it, the better. Read the manual for more details. This message can be turned off in the Pro version. So again, we get another Pro version mention. We're going to click OK. And then the test starts. And we can see the status of the test in the lower portion of each test box. In this case, it states 3.1% coverage, zero errors. And it will continue running up the percentage of the test coverage that it's getting on that particular allocation of RAM. Remember, this test box is only testing one gigabyte of RAM. Now, if we did every test box setting it to one gigabyte, then we would need 32 instances of this test to cover all 32 gigabytes in this system. So a better route may be to do 2 gigabytes per test, and that way we can utilize only 16 windows. We cut the number of windows in half, Oh, and we get complete coverage of the 32 gigabytes that way. 
Now, Windows only recognizes technically 30.9 gigabytes of the 32 gigabytes that are installed in this system. So we probably would need a little less on that last test box. But you can click About Memtest, and it will tell you a little bit more about the premium version, the Pro and Deluxe versions. And then here we'll start another test. And just for shits and giggles, we're going to put 2,000 megabytes on this one. Two gigabytes of coverage. And you can see we have Windows Task Manager open in the top left. And we're on the memory tab and we're monitoring the memory usage so we can see and we can see we can see we can see how much memory is currently being utilized as we are running these tests over here we have the two test boxes open and we are currently testing three gigabytes of RAM and we'll do another two gigabytes and that gives us five gigabytes of RAM being tested currently. And we're just going to keep starting new tests and running them all simultaneously. You know the drill! And on this one, we'll just put in 2,500 megabytes, which is 2.5 gigabytes. And that will give us four instances. And then we'll start another one. That's five instances. One, two, three, four, and five. And just keep doing this until you get 100% usage of all the installed memory. For example, here we're utilizing 53% of our installed memory. And like we mentioned, if there is a problem, HCI Memtest will usually find it right away. Like they mentioned, within the first 10% of coverage. And you'll have to test on your system how high you can go per test instance. How high can you go, boy? How high? Can you go, girl? How high can you go, 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 go? HCI Memtest states between 2 and 3.5 gigabytes per instance is limited by Windows. On this system, we were only successful at around 2,700 megabytes, so 2.7 gigabytes per instance. Gigabyte. And then you just kind of let it do its thing in the background. Don't run any programs mm -hmm. while it's running. You could also disable Windows Virtual Memory, the paging file, in the control panel. Control panel, do you copy? Shh. Do you copy? Over. Shh. Just to eliminate any possibility that Windows may try to put any of these tests into virtual memory. HCI mem test on this system for 32 gigabytes took around an hour and a half to two hours to complete and get each instance of the test to at least 100% coverage with zero errors detected. And like they mentioned, if you get an error, it's just gonna stop. And you'll end up getting a box that looks something like this. Hey, you, man! And it's gonna basically tell you, you have a memory problem. Then you may wanna run Memtest86. All right, this concludes our quick demonstration of utilizing HCI Memtest to test installed random access memory for memory-related errors. Thank <laughs> you.